She says, turn around, turn around, drop your pants, drops his pants, turn around again, he turns around. She says, you're 87. Yeah, how'd you know? She says, you told me yesterday. <laughs> Two little brothers go into a drugstore, one's nine, one's five. Nine-year-old said, pardon me, ma'am, like to buy a box of Tampax. She says, well, what's, uh, who's it for? It's for my little brother right there, he's five. Why are you buying your little brother a box of Tampax? He says, we saw an ad on TV, said you wear one of them, you can swim and ride a bicycle. He can't do either one. <laughs> Lady's taking a bath. Doorbell rings. Who is it? Blind man. She opens the door naked. The guy says, where do you want these blinds, ma'am? <laughs> sex drive. It's called wedding cake. <laughs> they recently raised the drinking age in Waterford to 32, trying to get alcohol out of the high schools. <laughs> Couple going to masquerade party, got dressed up in a cow suit, He's in the front, she's in the back, and it's a very elaborate cow suit. And halfway across the field, the wife in the rear of the suit starts yelling, John, there's a great big Hereford bull charging us. What the hell are we going to do? He says, I'm going to eat grass. You better brace yourself. <laughs> Times are harder. Yeah, the people are changing. Most folks couldn't tell you now who the next door neighbors are. All the guns are loaded, all the front doors are bolted. Ain't this a world? Take up your energy, it's just a little too far. Yeah. Talk about your good times, talk about your good times. Just go back to the days I was speaking of. Then a friend would meet you, smile would greet you. What this old world needs now is on a good old fashioned. Well, we had a great big long talk on the day he died. 
But this is not a happy time at the Siaka home. It was 12 years ago this week his uncle was put to death in the electric chair. So every year around this time, him and his family gather in the basement and they place a wreath around the fuse box. <laughs> Quite obvious, he's not in a real festive mood, is he? <laughs> he bought the first Timex waterproof, shockproof watch. Caught fire. <laughs> he bought a suit with two pairs of pants. He burns a hole in the coat. In high school, a girl got him in trouble. I just signed a one-year contract with a national cable television network uh, a month ago. Uh, it's only for a year, and I'm pretty excited because for $41, I get HBO, Showtime, ESPN. <laughs> the good news is, this is what's beautiful when you get our age. We don't need the job, okay? We got a couple of chinchillas in heat. That's the, <laughs> that, that's the good news. The bad news is they're brothers. So. Many, many years ago when I was 23, I was married to a widow who was pretty as can be. This widow had a grown-up daughter who had hair of red. My father fell in love with her and soon they two were wed. This made my dad my son-in-law and changed my very life. Cause my daughter was my mother cause she was my father's wife. To complicate the matter even though it brought me joy, I soon became the father of a bouncing baby boy. This little baby then became a brother in law to dad. He became my uncle and it made me very sad. For if he was my uncle, then that also made him brother of my wife's grown up daughter, who of course is my stepmother. My father's wife then had a son that kept him on the run. He became my grandchild, he was my daughter's son. My wife is now my mother's mother and it makes me blue. Because although she is my wife, she's my grandmother too. Now if my wife is my grandmother, then I'm her grandchild. And every time I think of this, it nearly drives me wild. Now I have become the strangest case you ever saw. As husband of my own grandmother, I am my own grandpa. <laughs> Trump's driving along, runs over a fire hydrant, water spraying all over, he yells out, no wax! No wax. <laughs> this couple go to a, go have a nice dinner, they spend, they get a nice room, it's a holiday, and they're celebrating an anniversary, and in a beautiful room, and he's got the champagne in the room, and he's got a little CD player playing Frank Sinatra, it's uh, got, you know, a little candle, Incense, it's beautiful. The moment is right. Puts his robot, opens the door, it's a drunk in the hotel. Oh, oh God, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Wrong room. Guy closes the door, robot back, close to white. Perfect moment. Robot opens the door, same drunk. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, sorry. Close the door, he's getting annoyed now. A little sip of wine, the moment is. Opens the door, same drunk. 
Rob looks at me and says, Holy so did you rent every room in the hotel? <laughs> the guy's walking home, same guy standing on a street corner waiting for a light and a hearse pulls up. On the back of the hearse is two coffins. Tied to the back of the hearse is a great big German shepherd foaming at the mouth. And following that, about 130 men on foot, single file. Line went for about two blocks. Trump taps on the window. He goes, hey, uh, buddy, what kind of parade is this? The guy says, you idiot, weasel, jerk. This is a tragedy. That dog killed this man's wife and mother-in-law. The Trump goes, oh, my. You got it in a week. Are you? You mean that dog killed the guy's... Killed the mother-in-law, huh? Where could a fella get a little puppy like that? <laughs> the guy says, get in line. 